Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, BurningMods44 here, and I'm back for even more reactions. And I'm happy about this one. We're doing an, a reaction from Silly Philly Studios. If you don't know who they are, this group makes... They've only made a few, um, they've only made a few videos, but the ones that they've made have been phenomenal. They have been amazing, amazing videos, and they just recently released another video, and, uh, that's the one I'm going to be reacting to. Uh, the one I'm reacting to is called Fall of the Crystal Empire. I've been looking forward to this for a while. They had released their original trailer for this thing, like, over nine months ago. So, this has been a project in the works for quite some time. But, um, the last major project that they had done was, um, for Snowdrop. And, while that one, it wasn't really intended to be something that was, you know, straight up hilarious or anything, it was very interesting. And it was well made. And now that they've had almost another year to um, get used to each other's abilities and, you know, have plenty of time to practice, I'm ecstatic in order to see what the heck it is they come up with for this one because they've had a lot of time to improve. And I trust that they've done it. And I just want to see what they did with this. So. Without much more to say, I'm going to go ahead and start this off because I want to see how this turns out. Three, two, one, go. The following is a fan made work and may not fit into everyone's interpretation of the lore. Silly Philly Studios. Alright. A thousand years ago, Celestia and Luna liberated the Crystal Empire. Together, they moved to strike down the King of Sombra. Uh, fall of the Crystal Empire. Okay. Crystal Empire, about a thousand years Coward. ago. Walled up in his fortress like it were a tomb. Our ground forces can't I advance love this crystal her fight. armor, Luna. And you know what he can do to our Pegasi, unable to defend their minds with that. We only need a small window of attack. He's lost a lot of ground. The elements should dispose of him. And if they don't? Why would they fail? Hypothetically speaking, Hypothetically speaking, <laughs> we're prepared just in case. <laughs> Indeed. He knows not what forces he is tampering with. Let <laughs> us not stay his end further. Yeah, Luna the Badass. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I don't think Sombra is worried. I think is he's actually it? okay. Hello. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> Bro, Luna. Fuck his shit up. This is awesome. This is awesome already. Whoa. That reminds me of the thing that the uh, white did in um, Bruce T's Ruby. Whoa! I think you missed. Show yourself, coward! <laughs> Get your sister out. Ooh, nice shot. Yield. Nope. So much hatred. You speak of cowardice. Have you forgotten whose domain you are in? <laughs> 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 not the little jab in the face is funny to me. You will fail. It seems even the gods lack purity in their hearts. I can taste your wrath, and it is delicious. Shut up, asshole! What the fuck? Get out of there, Luna! Your sister needs your help. 
Show yourself! Wait, what? You have no armor. Uh, this is a flashback? Sister. Thank goodness. It is a flashback. Nightmare Moon. No. Yeah! Man, I'm fucking psychic today. Sister. Oh! She's got somber vision. It doesn't need to be like this. Yeah, it does actually have to be like this. Sombra fucked you up. Save her, Luna! Yeah! Ooh! Son of a bitch! Alright. I like where this is going. Come on, Luna. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is fucking amazing. Why such legs to protect our petty imperialistic interests? You're a fool if you think that's what I'm trying to protect. Protecting her sister, you idiot. Come on, Luna. Yeah! You motherfucker. Whoa! Hello. Where'd that come from? Oh, damn. Her sword? Release me. <laughs> In due time. I was curious as to why your sister would fear you. It seems she is right to do so. She does not fear me. <laughs> you will see before long. Do you think she honestly understands the night and all its glory? Do not pretend you do in turn. Oh, I understand perfectly. <laughs> you find me to be a tyrant. Yet the best kind of slave is one who is willing. Silence! You can deny my warnings all you wish. It won't change your fate. Save your breath. Even if by some miracle you were to defeat me, you'd only soon fall to your sister. Why be forced to choose? A question <laughs> you will see many a foe in its future. Would it not make sense for us to stand against them together? We would sooner take our own lives than submit to you. Submit? <laughs> Just like you have to your sister. I admire your resolve. You are strong. Far more fit to rule. Far more deserving of respect than Celestia. He's fucking trying to recruit Luna! You have an opportunity like, now to take her place. Together, we can show the nation what it truly means to fear. The night. Well, why would you want to fear the night? You are a fool. Who doesn't want them to fear the night? They want them to love the So night. be it. Come on, Luna! Supervision! <sighs> what the hell were those symbols at the top? <laughs> you think you've found an ally in darkness. Do you comprehend the powers you were gifted with? The same powers I was born into. Where do you think the shadows all go to hide from the precious light? Just who do you think stands against them? What you possess is a mere fraction of their might. The same might I stand unyielding against each and every night. Stay back! You are nothing compared to them. You are nothing compared to me! You claim to know fear! I shall show you true terror! What... are you? <laughs> Motherfucking Nightmare Moon. I... am a nightmare. Yes. Luna! I said shine! What is it? Watch off Sombra. Where are we? 
What happened to... Sombra is no more. But the Empire... He... I... To banish an entire Empire like that. How much hatred and power were we truly facing? <sighs> I'm just grateful you're unharmed. And we're able to get us out safely. Yeah, but <clears throat> Sombra's not the one who banished it all. I'm pretty sure subjects. Nightmare Moon did. Not every fight will be a victory. Come. It's cold. Let us return home. Hmm. Fall of the Crystal Empire. Huh. Headbagging and me moving around like an idiot. There it is, right there. Snowdrop. Snowdrop on the bottom right of the uh, thing, which you won't be able to see because my face cam's going to be blocking it. Whoops. Uh, sorry about that. Seriously though, if you haven't, check out Silly Billy's uh, other uploads because they are really cool. And holy shit, this one was amazing. Awesome! That was awesome! <laughs> Bravo, Silly Billy Studios. Holy shit, that was awesome. That was awesome. Awesome! Ah! That thing, wow, okay. I love the action and everything that they supplied in this. This was great. I loved it. Every way. For, from the small details, like making the ponies, uh, the three ponies themselves look awesome, like the armor and stuff that Celestia and Luna had, and they, and they even gave Summer a little bit of a touch up, I think. But they all look like they were about to like essentially go to war. Like they were in their serious states. Like they were, they were pissed. Celestia Luna were pissed. They were like, "No, we gotta get this guy out of here." The fights were awesome, very well done. And I think a couple of things were actually, um, I'm not gonna you know, not someone, but like they were kind of like re referenced or used, kind of because um. The way that Luna used those, the white magic in order to shoot herself forward, it reminds me of, like I said earlier, reminds me of uh, Season 1 of Ruby from Rooster Teeth. Because um, in that one, she white used her magic to pull back uh, Ruby and shoot her like a slingshot. And she sort of did that there, but she shot herself forward. And, uh... That was really cool. I, I thought that was a really nice... Um, if, if that's what they were going for, if that was they were going for that kind of a reference from you know Ruby, then good on you, because it was a good one, and I'm glad I caught it. But holy shit. The weapons they used look cool. The way they fought with them look cool. The entire premise of this video itself, of freaking Sombra trying to convert Luna... And then Nightmare Moon outclassing Sombra. Motherfucker, that was awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. Also, uh, slight biased opinion, I guess, in a way, is that I'm very glad that they made Luna more useful in this fight than Celestia. 
That just makes me feel better as being a Luna fan. As being my one piece of MLP merchandise back there is Luna. So, yeah. I intend to get a Nightmare Moon one at some point because she's awesome as well. But, oh my gosh, this was awesome. And I like how, I like the little mysteriosity they did near the end with um, the defeat of Sombra there. Celestia, you know, found out that, you know, the entire kingdom or whatever had gotten banished or whatever. But she had, she just, you know, assumed that Sombra was the one that did it. But in reality, I'm thinking that it's, I'm saying thinking because they didn't exactly say it 100% certain. But in this circumstance, it makes sense to be for it to be like this. But I think Nightmare Moon's the one who did it. Pretty sure Nightmare Moon's the one who caused the banishment because... She was a lot stronger than Sombra was. And it was clearly evident because as soon as Luna transformed into Nightmare Moon, Sombra immediately panicked and just told her to, you know, stay away, essentially, because he was starting to fear for his life. <laughs> so, yeah. Holy shit! This was awesome! I definitely am going to watch this again soon. Oh my gosh, this was great. Wow. Hmm. Damn. But that was a nice touch, though, that they did with uh, Sombra trying to, you know, affect Luna like he did with Celestia, and then it ended up failing. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I did think for a sec that she did get, you know, affected by it, but as soon as, like, she stood up and, like, started laughing or whatever, like... I realized then that, yeah, it didn't work, and I kind of understood why. Cause, like, think of it this way. I don't think this is exactly how they're going with it, but this is how I'm interpreting this. Celestia is the ruler of the day, so, you know, she's got a bright area to work, you know, be in. Sombra is, like, the Pony of Shadows, essentially. I know they kind of referenced that in season four at some point, but you know, it's, so it's, it might be a little different. But that's how that's my example for this here is that he's essentially using the power of shadow in order to control, manipulate any any other pony. So it worked on Celestia, but when he tried to do it on Luna, it didn't work because Luna is in control of the night, and the night is a is darkness in a larger area that lasts for an extended amount of time. So, if anything, he inadvertently gave Luna a little bit of power. Um, that's that's how I'm in, that's how I'm seeing it. But, and it would make sense because Nightmare Moon, you know, freaking maniacal self, wanting <laughs> just showing up all of a sudden, whooping Sombra's ass like. I think that's how it really makes sense, is that it in this Silly Philly video that Sombra inadvertently caused Nightmare Moon's arrival because his dark magic tried to corrupt Luna and Luna's just simply overpowered it or whatever and just used the strength for herself. But she still has to live with that alter ego and then... Eventually, that comes into play later on, then the banishment to the moon for a thousand years, and then yada, yada, yada. And then we're back to the MMP show. But, all of this is explained very briefly in the um, beginning of this video when they said that, you know, this is basically their thoughts on there, so, you know, it's not exactly canon or anything like that. So, it's understandable that that's... It's understandable now that they had that message play in the beginning because of something like that. But, woo! Loved this video. Holy shit. What a great way to start this week off. Oh my gosh. Okay. I could ramble on here for even longer if I wanted to as to how amazing I, I thought this was, but... I can't keep you guys holding up here forever, but, um, so, and I've got some other recordings and stuff to do this week, so I'm gonna get onto those as well. But, for now, that's gonna be it for my take on this reaction. So, 
If you enjoyed this video at least half as much as I did, then leave a like down below. By the way, you had better like this video at least half as much as I did because it was fucking amazing. <laughs> but uh, anyways, <laughs> also if you have not done so already though, because you know why would you not? Then uh, you can click up here in order to subscribe. And that'll let you stay up to date on any content I make in the near future. Because I intend to update this stuff fairly frequently. And maybe you don't want to miss out on, you know, possibly something like this. So, without further ado, this is BrainWash44 saying, see you guys later.